Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a iCloud removal on a iPad M1 Wi-Fi only motherboard. You can only remove a Wi-Fi only as there's no IMEI. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating how to program it with our programmer. Um, this is a non-removable NAND repair. Um, anything else besides these three iPads, you have to remove the NAND and then reprogram it. Um, let's dive in and explain. So we've got our board out the housing over here and there's the iPad. Let's plug it into the jig. As you can see, it's det as you can see, I'm going to close the lid. So we've got a magnet. As you can see, it says start. I can actually just say start. And as you can see, it's going to detect it detects the hard drive perfectly fine. We're going to click on that, and we're going to say extract. As you can see, immediately it picks up all the details. Let's now program a new serial number that is iCloud locked and locked to this board uh, for security reasons and confidentiality reasons I'm not going to show you the serial number uh, I'm just going to explain the process to explain to you guys from far away is the Bluetooth Wi-Fi and serial has to be has to be matching otherwise it won't activate then basically once I'm done I just need to come and say yes and then I'll say extract and then I need to I need to come over here and then I need to say write burning will cover original data you need to say yes it's gonna start writing the data once that's done it says right we need to just say extract again confirm that it's the same serial number which we're good and let's flash it Excellent. Okay guys, so we're going to put it back in its original housing. We don't really care about much, we just care about the lock button so we can put it into DFU mode. Get that out. We don't care about attaching any of this stuff because the whole purpose of this is just to, the customer just wanted it, he couldn't figure out what his account details were and people were just being un unfriendly to him, so we're gonna do him a service. Uh, just get the lock button in there, guys. Let's just get the screen on. So basically, the idea is that once we've programmed the new NAND serial number, uh, we're going to run it in DFU, and then what's going to happen is it's going to flash and activate successfully, and we're done. With the other iCloud videos that I'm going to be demonstrating in later videos, I'm going to demonstrate how to take off NAND, reboil it, put it back, etc. Let's get that properly in there. Button in there, otherwise, not going to be able to get to the view. Hey guys, so I put the device in DFU. Let's go flash and let's see. Okay guys, it successfully flashed. I really hope this iPad isn't flat. I was gonna get pain in my nana brain. 
Yeah, it's flat. <laughs> Uh, let's put it on charge, let's wait for it to come on and let's activate it. Okay guys, so let's see if it activates. We're going to say set up. We're going to wait for it. Set up manually. Let's get my SIM card, let me get my Wi-Fi activated and we'll continue. And guys, that's how you successfully get around iCloud. There we go. Now I can say don't transfer. And it was ready to give it to a And it's done. Set up later. Don't use. This is a, just a video. Let me just demonstrate to you guys. Continue. Don't share. Continue. Okay. Hey guys, as you can see, it's now it's actually activated. It was locked before. Guys, please note that this is a just a tutorial for demonstration purposes only. If you guys have forgotten your Apple ID and password, I would thoroughly recommend going to the iStore or Apple to verify your credentials. But in this case, we had to assist the customer as they were in dire need of their device and it is now sorted.